Hello, uh, in this tutorial we will uh, talk about methods. It will be some intro to methods. So what are the methods? Methods are just uh, uh, sets of instructions which do something. Uh, in other languages they are called or often functions or procedures. But in Java there are methods. And today we'll be talking about so-called static methods. So met methods that do not need an object to operate on it, but they just do something like calculating mathematical function, something like that. All methods in math class are static. Methods like power, exponent, and so on, they are static. So we'll create today some static methods. Uh, let's create a new class. I, I opened uh, my project functions and methods and now I will create a new class. Class methods. I will delete those comments and put the braces in the right place. Okay, so we can start. And for for the, for the start, let's uh, declare a simple method, uh, which will be void method, public static void. Let's call it uh, just print me. And we have two parentheses without any arguments. Now uh, hit enter, two curly braces, enter and let's type in the body of the method. So we, ha we can have very simple instructions, system out, print line and uh, let's, uh, let's type uh, just you called me. So uh, within those parentheses, within those braces we have our both body of our methods. So here we can have one or several instructions which will be executed when we call this method print me. And void means that the methods do not return anything. So methods just do something like procedures in our languages but n do not return any value. So let's call this method. We can hit control space and eclipse gives us uh, suggested names of methods so we can just type type our methods we see that uh, it is put in italic to be identified our methods print me let's save the file run it and the result is uh, you called me because th this method was called within the main method which is executed when the class methods is executed and the method print me just printed this sentence okay now let's declare a method which will return some value so public static integer uh, for example how much and again we have no arguments and in the body we will just put one send one instruction return and this instruction returns some value for example value of 13 uh, and the clips uh, suggest that there is an error we have to put semicolon of course yes so the static method means that uh, it doesn't need an object to operate on. So we we don't have to make new objects and call methods operating on the object. We just call can call static methods without an object, without an instance. So if we just need simple simple method, simple function, we can create static method and call it from the main method to do something for us. So let's uh, let's for example say I will copy this sentence um, system out print line and 
here I put name of this method how much so we will print the value returned by method how much here and here I will put a comment to not bother with method print so let's start this program and as an output we have the value of 30 because here we call the method how much and it returned 30 and this value was printed okay now now let's define a method which will return a value and uh, will take some values as arguments so let's calculate a sum of two numbers so the method will be calc sum and uh, notice the camel notation we start with small letter and in the middle next word starts with capital letter so integer sum and the arguments are integer a and integer b now we can just return sum so uh, type return a plus b and it's okay or we can declare a local var variable integer uh, for example sum or temp sum integer sum equals to a plus b and we, re we return the sum both methods are good but this is maybe more clear to introduce another variable for returning the value so how to call this method uh, let's say the sum of 10 and 20 is and now we, we have to put plus sign and call this method call calc sum and put two arguments so uh, the system of print line print line will print the string the sum of 10 and 20 is and will append to the string the value returned by calc sum method and it should be of course 30 we will see if this is true yeah the sum of 10 and 20 is 30 now now let's declare uh, let's um, declare a function or a method which will cal calculate the uh, area of a circle of a given radius okay so here let's declare double circle radius for example 25 so we have circle radius now we need a method to calculate uh, the circle area public static double calc circle area notice that I, I call this method not circle area but calc circle area because we should mm, name methods with verbs not nouns we should mm, we should name variables with nouns like circle radius but methods with verbs so this is good convention this is good style of programming so let's call this method calc circle area and we have one argument circle radius but we can just call this argument r because it's only an argument of a function and later on we can substitute this argument by circle radius variable we'll see it okay so calculate circle area uh, the argument is double r and the formula is of course uh, circle area equals to pi r squared so 
math pi multiplied by uh, r and multiplied by r for example or we can use of course mathematical power function now we have to return let's say what the eclipse say here secret area cannot be resolved to a variable of course we have to declare it as a double and now it's okay now let's re return secret area variable and it should be alright now uh, now we can do, do this uh, in two ways uh, we can just print um, we can just call this method inside the print print line statement of or we can issue an, another command declare variable double circle area and call the method calc control space calc circle area and of course not r but circle radius so uh, here we have to correct the sentence the area of the circle of radius of uh, circle radius uh, sorry equals and calc secret area uh, sorry uh, of course uh, circular area Cir circular area because we are already calculated this <coughs> no, this is a problem syntax around token secret radius the latest token mm -hmm. okay let's check it out the area of the circle of the mm, radius of circle radius circle radius circle radius radius oh we have to put plus sign of course here and now it's okay so let's say what will be the output of this program the area of the circle of radius of 25 equals equals 2 of course and to put sp additional space here mm. it will be maybe more correct the area of the circle of radius 25 equals to 1000 yeah. okay so uh, we created a method uh, returning double value and taking as an argument the radius of a circle and the methods calculates the circle area so we can uh, define uh, several methods in our program to make it uh, look more clear it is uh, considered a good style of programming to divide program for such blocks, such methods. So this is only the intro and we talked about static methods. More on methods will be uh, on a, in our tutorials of uh, object-oriented programming later. But we have to uh, learn more to tackle these uh, topics. So thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe. And see you in our next tutorial. Bye!